This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up, my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Well, one my people, hope everybody you know okay. Hope everybody you know alright. So me know what now go say now come and say Dennis book now no sense. I me agree with you know. Yes, I agree with you know. I don't need back Stefan and Lindsay. But we saw reach all alright this way on the news. But before we reach right this up, the police are reporting that a nine millimeter pistol with a magazine containing four nine millimeter round was seized at Liberty Valley, Brownstone in St. Anne's on Saturday, April third, and a man was arrested and charged in connection with the incident. Why the police step always feel like they meet for arrest and charge, man, eh? Charge the legal possession of firearm and ammunition is 23-year-old Nathan Witter of Orange Hill District, Brownstone, in the parish. To the police, they may have no sense and a waste time. A search warrant was executed at Witter's residence at about 3 o'clock when the weapon was found. Witter, who was at home at the time with a female companion to escape, but was apprehended by the police. Hold on, why the police them never make him run? This is the only time me thinks so that the police them for make criminal run so them can fire at them. But guess what? I feel that the police them threw them a miss from the other day. They need to go back to shooting school car. Enough of them cannot even shoot a fly if the fly stand up in front of them. But this is a boy should have dirt. This is a boy should have their dirt. I tell you the truth, police. You need to sharpen up on the shooting skill and slap them with. Well, as part of the continued efforts by the St. Catherine South Police to put a serious dent in the illegal guns for drugs trade that operates between Jamaica and Haiti, investigations have been ongoing in the parish of St. Catherine for some time now. You will remember that there were reports of four Haitians who were held in the community of Brayton in St. Catherine. Well, I can confirm at this time that our intelligence is that those four Haitians entered the island illegally and that they are facilitators in this guns for drugs trade. On Tuesday, April 6th this year, a joint military and JCF team carried out operations in the Brayton community where over 1,000 pounds of compressed ganja was seized. Our intelligence suggests that that ganja was supposed to be transported to Haiti and traded for firearms, guns that would have made their way onto the streets of Jamaica. And so this is a major dent in their operation. The St. Catherine South Police will continue to target the players in this trade and bring them to justice. Brooks and company you no know, come close, make I tell you no something. Them the boy they need to go back at 18 a box. Them the boy they to go back at 18 a box. Post them back to them sender. We don't want them in our country. And them come about here and mash it up. Me understand so you know, find them uh, intelligent. This are uh, intelligent that but uh, slap you know, for slap them. Eh? Slap you no know, need for slap them because many more of them are gonna come if you don't know, start take actions. Slap them eh? send them back in a box, make them go for me and pick them up. Okay? It's like the man them take a set pan the woman them again and just a kill them off left, right and centre. If you look on the picture right now, this are the lady we have the picture her in the house so they can come come ask sweet. You understand? And she had the St. Elizabeth lady. So the police are investigating the circumstances which left a 38 year woman stabbed at her home in Burn Savannah, a farming community a few miles southwest of Santa Cruz early Tuesday morning. The St. Elizabeth police identified victim and Natasha White, an employee of Boglane, Burn Savannah. Police said at about 9.15 a.m. White was found by her son on the floor of her room in a pool of blood. And I say, people, we have her in the pool of blood, but a picture of who wants sweet can come, come, ask sweet. You understand? But I can't believe that so much people live in the area and nobody know area even make a nice. Police say there were someone to the scene and check revealed two stab wounds to the woman's neck. She was taken to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, see them come back in the foolishness again. See, the police, them come back here with the foolishness again. She did dead by spot. She was dead and spot before on the care of the hospital. Walk with one doctor when you now go up on the road. <laughs> Who 
whole land the people come and know a bag of people are gonna come come ask but guess what i am just as confused as uno but me just come for good at the news and i come for the news i make good know so watch the killing nah stop you understand yes if she was born a female and she wanted to become a male that is with she and god so the taxi driver yeah them call her tamar oh I'm sorry them call her alex too but well, today in a man to go be a people yes and the look of video they will see a fear taxi that to them sell a power in a and a fear picture this so anyway when we hear the news we were really going with her we are gonna make the people them know but them now nah, just go around and kill oh then again a whole heap of woman them kill from the other day a whole heap of things are going i mean i understand why the man them feel like so they be to kill off all the woman them you know me know say sometime when you me come and me tell no what I go on and think I joke me I make gonna feel like say I make me I make up story say the man them a text set pan the woman them no 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 a serious thing police detective are now probably shooting off a man and a woman during a robbery along Red Hills Road St Andrew yesterday evening ah boy the violence against the woman continue the robber traveling in a car took the woman belonging they then shot at her and a man who attempt to intervene sometimes them say see people business and leave it alone me sorry brother yes him tried to intervene and them clap couple of time to people the robber sped off and the man and woman was rushed to the hospital you understand them all right now they don't drop out yet i wonder if they might drop out but if them drop out by later me i'm gonna make you know because i know some day you have to keep you know, posting but everything where i'm you understand my people the police has now arrested 23 year old brother of the slain suspect in the disappearance of the missing Clarendon teacher Natalie Dawkins. Two other men were also taken into custody as person of interest on Saturday. Jeff Bedwood, yes, Jeff Bedwood, 20, was killed in a shootout with the police in the Belfield St. Catherine. So, people of Clarendon, we need to help now. This is Jeff. I remember telling you something. Normally, it's a bird of a feather flock together so uno must know jeff because jeff are just 20 jeff just left school the other day uno need to go to the police and tell the police them who and jeff par uno need to make the police them know who are jeff parry them so the police them can go slap them with you and so they can do something good with the motor no, and them you understand so the police them know uh, who because guess what he's a complete escape remember said the youth him and jeff to go up on the road for sell the car he may escape and the police them still like, dig down the area and can't find nobody yet so one favor we are begging you know. Tell the police them who and this boy are par or who don't know him par with so the police them can angle for them, bangle for them. Cause as of them need for that shit. You understand? And condolence to the teacher, you know. Condolence to the teacher and you know say if she did it anywhere near she would have come back already. You understand? So we just have to say it as it is. Very unfortunate situation, but you don't know say. We have to look on the side of the thing that one looks so at her. She gone to a better place if she don't live her life right with Christ or them. So, they know the church people, them said so they like a party and enough of them not really live right. But we don't talk about that right now. Anyway, RIP, if you drop out and if you don't drop out, we could see a miracle work. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell another friend, come, come check us out, alright?